KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Friday, November 3rd. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks so much for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. It's weather with Amber Lee joining us now. Good morning. Feels Hi. like we're officially in fall. Yeah, it starts. It's starting to, oh, in the mornings. It's in the morning. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In the afternoon, we're going back to summer, and that's because we have those warmer afternoons. But today's the day where the cooling trend officially begins. And you can see it right here with our Long Beach camera. Low clouds and fog, patchy. Are, have returned, and we're going to start to see the return of that marine layer as we head into the next few days. Uh, right now, Long Beach, though, still a little bit cool, so grab the layers, 57 degrees, and then here's a look at our current conditions. This is the reason why we have frost advisories for areas like the Antelope Valley, because we are still sitting just slightly above freezing. 36 degrees for Lancaster. We have some chillier conditions in Palm Dot, 43, also chilly for Victorville and Hesperia, and then everywhere else we're looking at temperatures in the 40s and 50s, so still a really cool and chilly morning, but here Here's a look at our highs once we head toward the afternoon. Those temperatures start to climb, but then we're looking at those temperatures actually a little cooler than the last few days, and that's because the sea breeze returned yesterday, so that's why the patchy low clouds and fog have returned. 77 for the coast. We still have 80s once you head inland, but I'll tell you about those fall-like weather, or fall-like conditions headed our way. Kalina. All right, good morning. Let's start off with a look at the 14 freeway heading southbound this morning, where we do have an incident slowing you down as you make your way out of Palmdale and try to get into Santa Clarita. So we do have a two-car crash. It's southbound 14 right at Soledad Canyon Road. The left lane is blocked off and we have speeds down to four miles per hour. You can see how heavy the delay is right as you get closer and closer into Santa Clarita this morning. Uh, it'll take you about an hour and 26 minutes to get through that stretch of the roadway, so give yourself some extra time. And we do have a stalled car right now, northbound 110 at Exposition. The left lane is blocked off and that is backing you up through South LA. Here's a look at Sky Cal this morning on the 101 in Hollywood, where you can see some volume out there, but no incidents to report. We do have some traffic though on the five out of down into downtown as well. And a quick look at Orange County, not bad here, but the 91 is slowing down out of Corona heading into Orange County. Marcy, back to you. We are so excited, we just can't hide it. CBS Mornings are, well, everything your morning should be. Let's do it! Let's go! CBS Mornings, starting at 7. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.